of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a fun textured stitch called the fur stitch or the faux fur stitch. And as you can see here, it uh, is a stitch that is made up with these loops on one side and then it has a smooth back on the other side. Now the other fun thing about this stitch is that you can either leave it like this as loops or you can, as I've done down here, simply cut the loops, just the tips of them, and you can give it a more of a fur-like appearance if you, or a hair-like appearance if you would like to. Uh, you don't have to worry about any of the ends unraveling or anything like that. Uh, it's just a fun stitch to work. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using uh, paint box yarns. Uh, in the Cotton Aran, and uh, I'm using the Dolphin Blue color today, as well as a 5mm crochet hook. Uh, links to both of these items will be found in the description of this video, as well as a direct link to the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe, take a look around. This channel has a new stitch tutorial every Sunday morning is worked in rows so you're going to start by working a slip knot and then by making a foundation chain and your foundation chain can be any multiple of stitches plus one for your foundation chain so today I'm just going to simply chain 20 chain stitches there's 10 and 20. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row, you can chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to begin working your loop stitches uh, now you don't have to, but today for the tutorial, I am just going to work a regular single crochet into that first stitch. If you would like to change that to a loop stitch, you can. So now into the next stitch, I'm going to work my first loop stitch. To work the loop stitch, you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch under both loops. You're then going to take your yarn and you're going to kind of wrap it around the index finger of your other hand to make a loop and you're going to place it over your hook. You're then going to pull your hook through, keeping your finger through the loop because you don't want to pull it through all the way. You can then just gently hold on to the loop that you just put onto your hook and remove your finger from that loop created at the back. You can then take your yarn, yarn over as you normally would, and then pull through all the loops on your hook. That is your first loop stitch. I'll show you how to do it again, and it does take a little bit of practice uh, and uh, getting used to kind of holding on to everything. So you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, wrap the yarn around your index finger on the other hand, yarn over and pull through keeping that loop on your index finger. You then can then carefully remove your index finger from your loop, take your yarn, yarn over as you normally would and pull through all the loops on your hook. You've now worked two loops. I'll show you one more time. Insert your hook into the next stitch, wrap the yarn around your index finger and yarn over, pull that yarn through, remove your finger, yarn over, and pull through. For this row, you're going to continue working loops all the way across to your final stitch, and uh, then you can either work a loop in that final stitch, or as I'm going to do, you can work a single crochet into that final stitch. 
the end of row two with either a loop stitch or a single crochet as I'm going to do here. You can then chain one and turn your work. So you now should see all of your loops there coming across the front and you'll have a nice smooth back. For row three, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into that first stitch and then a single crochet into each stitch all the way across. As you're working this row, you're going to want to kind of pull your loops down a little bit. You don't want them to get tangled up in your hook and stitches up above. So simply single crochet in each stitch all the way across, chain one, and turn your work. The end of your row three, chain one, turn your work. You'll now have your row of loops, a row of single crochet, and uh, for your the rest of your pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and three for as long as you would like. So I started off with a single crochet into that first stitch, and then worked loop stitches all the way across for my row two. You're then going to chain one, turn your work, Work a row of single crochet stitches all the way across, chain one, turn your work, and then continue to repeat those two rows. At the end, you can fasten off, weave in your ends, and then enjoy this very fun and unique crochet stitch. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to do the first stitch or the faux first stitch. Once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.